guys, Coach Jenna here, and I wanted to invite you into my kitchen to do a little food prep today. So, the question I get so often is, what do you eat, and is it fix approves, and how do you prep it? Let's be honest, we are so busy, right? We've got so much going on. We have kids, parents, dogs, family, all sorts of stuff, and lots of events and roles that we're supposed to have. So, food prep should be one of those things that's easy in your life, and I'm gonna show you how. So everything that we're gonna talk about today in this video is fix approved. It is simple, clean eating. And I'm gonna show you how in just an hour to an hour and a half, you can prep all your food. And I promise you this video will not be that long. So first things first, I'm gonna share some products with you that we personally use in our home and let you know that's what we're using to prep. First things first for me, lean meats. We are big chicken eaters in our house, so we go with the Purdue brand. They make individually packaged chicken breast. This particular one has Italian seasoning, Italian um, goodness attached to it, so not perfectly plain. They make a perfectly plain version. If that fits into your meal plan better, go that route. This is something we like to live a little, so we get the Italian version because they're delicious. What I do with these, they're the very first thing that I do in my meal prep because I like to get them rolling and they take a little more prep time than everything else. I cook these on a regular cookie sheet. This is how they come out. Beautiful. Um, and they're the first thing I put in the oven because they only take about 20 minutes, but I make about 20 of them at a time. So that is the very first thing I do. Oven, 350, 20 minutes, chicken breasts are in and cooking. The very next thing I do is get a five pound block, because that's really truly what it is, of ground turkey, and I go ahead and brown that on the stove. I add in my own seasoning options, which I will tell you guys, I told you we're really just hanging out in the kitchen today. So any of the Mrs. Dash salt-free line, great choice if you want to give your ground turkey a little spice, a little excitement. Um, me personally, I am a Maryland girl, and I kind of slide under with my Old Bay low sodium because I love my Old Bay. So that's something that I put in my ground turkey and then I have that going on the stove while the stuff's cooking in the oven. It's a really awesome way to multitask. Just make sure you set your timers and you focus. And the nice thing is, is once that ground turkey is completely cooled, I can go ahead and portion it out into a container and it's done. I like to pull the chicken out and put all the chicken in a big container like this and then just pull it out as we eat it. We work from home a lot, so we don't need to pre-portion things out as much as most people do. But if you're busy, pre-portion this stuff. Go ahead and put it in containers so you just grab, go, and go to work and heat it up at lunch. Clearly, we need more chicken because there's only one in there. So they're in the oven cooking, the ground turkey's on the stove, already being made. The next thing that I'm doing while I have this process going, broccoli. Broccoli in a bag, steam in a bag. Man, I'm telling you, this makes your life so easy because it is literally, take me out of the freezer, put me in the microwave, push five. <laughs> That's it. So it's super easy. We make five or six bags of this steam in a bag at a time. Why do we love this specific brand? Because the only ingredient is broccoli florets. You guys wanna make sure that with all of this stuff that you're eating, the ingredients are just what they say they are. If it has any preservatives or fillers or extra sodium things added in, no, that's not what you want. My recommendation on the broccoli front, go to the store, check out the ingredients. If they all just say broccoli florets in the frozen section, buy the one that's on sale, save yourself some money. Let's, let's be real, we wanna spend that somewhere else anyway. So once the broccoli is cooked, we put it in these mega giant green containers. They help with freshness, um, but they're also fun because they're green. And if you're a fixer, you love that, right? So we portion them out that way and reheat them. The next thing that we cook on the list, because those are in the microwave rotating through while I'm cooking the other things, I have to always listen because sometimes that thing will beep 25 times before I remember, oh my gosh, the broccoli's done. Sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. They are such a great carb for your body. And the nice thing about this particular brand is that they're already pre-cubed. The nice thing about that is if you're on the fix, you know that, oh, you could just shove a whole bunch of those into a yellow container and you could really shove them in there. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons that I love this particular brand. You can get these already pre-cut in the frozen section or 
in your vegetable section at your grocery store, your fresh vegetables, sometimes the store will actually have containers of these cut already that I'll only need cooked. So these will go in the oven the same time the chicken's in there. So they're baking. Um, I like to leave them in there for our, like 45 minutes because I like them to be crispy. So I feel like I'm having a french fry. <laughs> so sweet potatoes. Um, again, the only ingredient in here is sweet potatoes. Common theme, guys. Next thing that I prep while all of this is happening is, let me grab it here for you. I have it ready. Brown rice. I think that brown rice is right up there with sweet potatoes on my top carb list. So this brand happens to be the Uncle Ben's brand. The nice thing about this is that I am not a boil in a bag kind of girl. I don't want to sit around and wait for water to boil. I'm like that person that watches it. So, And we're talking about efficiency and doing this quick today. So brown rice already in a package. All you have to do is vent it at the top, throw it in the microwave for I think it's like 60 seconds, 45 seconds or something. Boom, it's done. The nice thing about this brand is that its only ingredients are water, brown rice, and sunflower oil. Another good choice. And I rotate my rice and my broccoli in the microwave so they're cooking at the same time and I'm just setting them all out because I like everything to cool down before I put it in any kind of container so it doesn't get soggy. Next up on the list, because we're moving right along, we are prepping like fools right now. I'm a big egg fan. We buy three or four cartons of 18 at a time every time we go to the store, which is every couple days. So we go through a lot of eggs in our house. A great trick that several other coaches have taught me is to put these in cupcake tins, just like this, pull it right out of the carton, put it right in the tin, um, and to bake those at 350 for 20, 25 minutes, and you'll hard boil them. It's a quick way, instead of, again, I told you, I'd watch the water boil. <laughs> so it's a great way to quickly and efficiently get them in while you're doing other stuff, so you don't have to sit and watch them and figure out when they're ready. So I hard boil, mm, I would say probably 12 to 15 at a time. Then they're great grab-and-go snacks so that you can have your reds, because that's what they are, and enjoy those too. Another red that we always have on hand in our house is Greek yogurt. This is the store brand, because the store brand is cheaper and the label is clean. So I, we are very efficient with our shopping, so this happens to be Wise brand, and the nice thing about this is the ingredients are all clean. And it's just plain Greek yogurt, and it's already perfectly portioned. I can scoop this right into a red container, and it's going to fit perfectly. Um, another nice thing is they usually have specials and sales on these little guys. So take advantage of that. Save some money. Let's see. Two other things. I am obsessed with Shakeology, so that is a staple in our life. I actually have my camera sitting on my Shakeology box right now, so I can't show it to you. But Shakeology is a go-to. It's a red, and it's delicious. If you don't have it in your life... You're the person that, like, didn't get the invite to the party. <laughs> like, you need your Shakeology. That is a great, great additive to all of this. And my little cheats for you. Mustard. I put it on everything. This happens to be organic yellow mustard. I love the flavor of this for some reason. So this is the one that I use. That is a freebie. You can put it on everything. You'll get to the point you learn to love it on everything, really. The next thing is hot sauce. The brand, I don't think it's very, it doesn't matter. Try to find one in the store that has the lowest sodium. This one happens to be Frank's. It's delicious. I like it. So that's what I go with. The last staple that I have for you, and let me grab it. Like I said, we're just hanging out in the kitchen today. My last staple is oatmeal. This you can prep ahead of time, or if you're like me, I make it myself every day because, like I said, I work from home, so I'm here to do that. But Another great way to prep this is to get out your crock pot, put a ton of this in there and let it cook overnight and then portion it out the next day. You can even throw it in the freezer and then cook it every morning if you would like. That's a great option. I'm an old fashioned oats kind of girl. Most people steel cut. I guess it's personal preference. I know steel cut is a little healthier, but I like what I like. Um, so that's the route that I go with these. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little cheat while we're doing this video. In this container, I keep a blue container. What, Jenna? Oatmeal is a yellow. Why, guys? Yes, it is. But this little guy, dry, equals a yellow cooked. So I don't have to ever measure out my yellow, because let's face it, like, how do you measure out cooked oats without having to get rid of them or make some more or get that perfect measurement? Blue container, scoop it out, dump it in a bowl, heat it up, 
Make sure you add water. And it equals the yellow. Test the theory if you'd like. I'd love for you to do it. I did because I didn't believe it. So those are my staples. That is how I prep. I have everything going at one time. And that's what we eat on a daily basis. And it's easy and it's efficient. And every three or four days we prep all over again. But you know what guys, it helps us achieve our goals. Might be a little boring. I like simple and easy, so that's the route that we go. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, share it. Let somebody else know this is a quick, easy, and I would say very cost-effective way to eat according to your plan and to stay 21 Day Fix approved. So have a great day, guys. I hope that you got some awesome content from us.